Welcome to the latest episode of Tad's Gaming Workshop. Today we're going to show you how to open Wreckfest dedicated server on your local machine. Um, so you're going to navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Bugbear Entertainment. And you'll see this initial server config and you've got the start server, start server initial um, and everything else in there. Now what we're going to do what how I found um, we do a vanilla server for now so we're just gonna control C or right click copy paste and we're gonna rename this to server config it stays as a CFG file which we will open in notepad plus plus so the first thing we need to do is give ourselves a, a server name. So Tad Gaming Tutorial. Welcome message. Welcome to Tad Gaming Server. Let's put all these as it should. There we go, right. Uh, password, we don't need a password on there to be honest. Max players, you set that to what you want. Most people run 15, maybe 17. I'll leave this at 24 for now. Uh, uh, no, actually we'll change it to 20. So you see it change. Um, clear privileges. Now, each time, if you set an admin and they want to, when they leave, if you want them to keep their admin status, um, we change this to zero, so we change that to zero because otherwise you've got to keep adding admins all the time. Uh, zero to use on Steam, you want to leave that as zero. Uh, first to join res receives owner privileges. We need to change that to one. Don't, don't fall by that mistake. Uh, otherwise the first person who joins your server is going to have host privileges. Leave your Steam ports alone unless you are hosting more than one server. And then you need to change these so you would go 17 27017 and 27019 or 8 uh, sorry 8 um, that's it for the vanilla that's all you need to do so your file save now in the start server if we just edit it and open this is what we see and that's not telling the the server to use your config file that you've just made. Um, so what we're going to do is we just open Notepad++ again. And we're going to drag. I, I don't like opening them in normal editor. Drag this into Notepad++. And we're just going to create a little bit more um, text in here. So space. So we go server. Um, no, sorry, server underscore config equals server underscore config dot cfg. That's all you need. So you go file save, and then we can close that down again. So now We've got our server config and start server. Now, being as it's a vanilla server, we don't have to do anything else. We hit start server, hit flush up and disappear, and then started server. So that's what you see there. So we'll just run into game quickly. I've got no mods on at the minute. Uh, and uh, multiplayer. Now, I haven't got my ports open at the minute, so I might not actually see it. And if we can see it on LAN, we can see, I can see it on LAN anyway. Um, Tad's Gaming Tutorial. And the server message is, welcome to Tad's Gaming Server, as you see I'm under the server message when you hover over. Uh, but I don't think I've got my ports open. That could be another tutorial uh, on how to open the ports. What you need to do is you need to find out what router you got um, and then Google how to port forward and for your router 
and then you need to open the ports as we mentioned let's just get out of this uh, to close the server down just type exit and enter and it will close it so let's bring notepad plus plus open again so you need to open I normally open UDP and TCP just in case there's a conflict uh, so you need to open 27015, 33540 and 27016 as soon as you've got them open um, I know I don't because I've been hosting another game um you can it, everyone will be able to find it um and that's it that's it for the vanilla so we'll leave that server config there now if we want to use the server for mods like we do for uk bangers what we do is we go back into steam apps into workshop content bugbear folder and i know these are my three mods that that we use for bangers being as this is just a tutorial setup, as you can see in the address bar, um, there's actually nothing in these at the minute. But what you would do is you would copy all the, all the mods that you need. Um, you go back into Steam Apps, Common, Bugbear Entertainment, Mods, and then you paste them into there. Now, you've got to remember for people to be able to join your server they have to have the mods in the correct order now this is a little trick that i found that we run um uk short ovals first which is this one so i name that one then we run the kezza's track pack so we name that two and then last but not least is the the bangers so we name that three so now we know the order of the mods is going to be one two three very easy to remember so we go back into the server config and we scroll all the way down to mods which is here and i gave you an example here we take off the hash code at the other uh, hash at the start and we just simply put in one comma two comma three then we go file save Start server again. Come on then. Wait for it to start up. And now if you look question mark, it should tell you mods one, two and three are loaded. And that's it. That's all you need to do to start server. Don't forget you need if you don't have your ports forward, then you need to Google port forwarding and your router. Um I think that's about all I can say on opening your own dedicated server. Well, thanks for watching this Tud's Gaming Workshop. There will be more coming soon, some 3DS Max tutorials. And um, please enjoy and share it about. Don't forget, please like the video um, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>